All right, farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at barley and everything that you need to know about it. So first off, if you're playing with seasons on, you're going to need to take a note of the crop calendar. So if you have a look there, second one down, barley, you can plant in September and October and then harvest in June or July. If you're not playing with the seasonal crop calendar on, it will take seven months to grow. So that's first things first. So also what we've got in front of us here is our field that is fully prepped. And what I mean by fully prepped is we've mulched in, we've ploughed, I've laid a fertiliser layer down, then limed it, fertilised again, cultivated and then removed all the stones. So that's how I fully prep a field. Obviously you can do it in any order that you particularly like. But that's how I do it. That's how I find I get the best out of it. So then next up, what you're going to want to do is jump in the tractor here. That's attached to a cedar. Like so. So if you're in the shop menu and you go to cedars, if you look at the icons along the bottom there, barley is the second one from the left. So any cedar that has that icon with it, you'll be able to use to seed barley. Now I've gone for this lemkin because I just find it's my favourite one in the game at the moment. So that's what I've gone for. Obviously budgets do depend on what you can go for because this one is quite expensive. But the more you spend, the bigger working width you got to use. So I've gone for that one. So what we'll do, we'll go to the edge of the field and we'll get started. Okay, you're at the edge of the field, so what you want to want to do is unfold it so that's L, B and A if you're on Xbox like me so it'll fold the sides out obviously depending on which CD you've gone for depends on what needs to be unfolded and we're also going to want to make sure we've got barley selected so if you look there L, B again and the option with Y it's currently on wheat so that will cycle through all the different ones that you can plant with this cedar so we're going to put it on barley so we're going to go LB and B to lower it down. And then LB and X to turn it on. And then we'll just drive through the field. There we are. You can see the change in texture. So all you're going to want to do now is to go over the whole field, making sure that it's all covered. So I'll get that done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the field fully seeded. Now to get the most out of the field, what you're going to want to do next is roll it. So that's going to give you the best possible outcome once it's combined with what we've already done in the prep. So if you go into the shop menu and go to rollers, any one of these you can use to roll your field. Now I'm going to go with this Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD. So I'll find it the easiest with the biggest width to manoeuvre. So I'm going to nip up the shop and get that and I'll see you back at the field. Right, so back at the field, I've got my roller. So the same as the seed, you're going to want to unfold it. So if we do L, B and A, that'll unfold it. Put all the different discs out, like so. So then you're going to want to L, B and B to lower it. And with the roller, you don't have to turn it on. So once it's lowered, you're ready to go. So just drive through the field again. Now, with the roller... Once you've seeded the ground, the field, whatever you want to call it, it leaves a slightly different colour shade of brown than what you've already seeded. So just have to keep an eye on that because obviously it can be a bit difficult depending on your angle that you're looking at. So the same as the seeder applies, just go over the whole field making sure it's all covered. So I'll get that done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the field rolled. So once that's done, the only thing you're going to need to keep an eye out for, if you've got them turned on, that is, is weeds. Now I haven't got them turned on because I don't particularly like them. But if you have and you are playing with them, once they start coming through, you're going to need to use a weeder or spray them with herbicide. Otherwise, that's going to affect your yield that you get when you come to harvest but I haven't got them turned on so what I'm going to do I'm going to fast forward and we're going to see a bit of growth on the go now 
Right, so we're in June, and as you can see, in the bottom right hand corner there, it's got growth ready to harvest. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to go jump in a harvester. Right, so if we go into the shop menu again, go to harvesters. So, like the cedar, anything that's got that barley icon there, so the second one from the left, you can use to harvest barley. So, I've gone for this vent ideal. So I think it looks ace and to go with that you're going to need a header so any one of these again that's got that barley icon you can use so depending on what harvester you've gone for depends on what header you can go with bigger the harvester bigger the header wider the working width but obviously the bigger you go the more expensive it is so that is completely linked to your budget but I've gone for this one today so we'll get cracking with this Right, so just like the seed in the roller, you're going to want to unfold the harvester. So that's going to put the pipe out properly at the back and also the grain tank storage area on the top. So once that's done, you're going to, want to turn it on and lower it down and then just drive into your crop and it'll start harvesting. Now with barley, the same as weeds, you can get straw off of it. So we'll stop there. If we go on the options for the controls LB you've got there disable, disable straw swath so if we turn that off and we'll drive through the crop it will just spray all the straw out the back and that will just get mulched back in or ploughed in cultivated whichever you're doing when you come around to do your field next but if you want to collect it say you want to put it in for your animals or you want to sell it on because you can sell it as well you're going to want to put it as a swath so you'll come along with either a baler or a forage pickup wagon and collect it and take it to the shop. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll get this field done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the harvest done off the field. And we've got there 6,635 litres of barley. So what you do with that now, not crash into the tree like I've just done, is you can unload it directly into the silo if you so wish or you can put it into a trailer so we'll spin it around and we'll put it in this trailer so you're going to want it LB and down on the D-pad put the pipe out back over so that's over the trailer and it will load in there like that so that is the harvest part of it done so what we're going to do now, we're going to go into the next stage. What do you do with it once you've harvested it? Right, so once you've got it all loaded into your trailer, you've got three options. You can take it to a sell point. So if we look on the map, we go up to the prices menu and down for barley. So the best price is Goldcrest Valley 989 a thousand liters that's going to involve a train so that's a different video altogether so check that one out so for the base map the best one is the grain mill so i'm going to take it up there and i'll see you in a bit right so i'm up at the grain mill and here's where two of the options come in if you don't own a production chain it will act as a standard sell point so you'll just go up to the unload icon over on this grate here you'll get the prompt come up start overloading so R, B and Y and we'll put it into that hopper and we'll get some money for it now the second option is to own the grain mill so if you were to pull up there go up to the blue spanner if we were to click L stick in and buy the production mill the grain mill production chain whatever you want to call it we would then own this whole facility so then if you were to put the grain in that hopper again we could then turn that into flour in the grain mill and sell that on as a different product and get a better profit for it so that's two of your options depending on what you want to do now the third option I'm going to see you back at the farm Right, so the third option that you've got to use your barley is to feed it to your animals. So if we go into the shop menu again and then under construction 
and to animals you'll see that pigs there take the barley and chickens take the barley so you place there we are we'll place a chicken pasture down like so and we'll pull up to the onload icon just the same as at the grain mill and you'll get the prompt to start overloading and then you put it in there and that will feed your animals so pigs and chickens will take the barley so that's your options for selling the actual crop off the field now what we have got left with barley is the straw that's still on there now you've got two options to dealing with this I say dealing with this that's like it's a problem you can either use a forage collection wagon like this and you'll collect the loose product up so we'll just go over to the field so the same with all the other equipment LB and it will lower LB and B and lower the pickup and then turn it on and just drive over the swath and it'll collect it in the back like so and then with that you can either take that to the shop so if we go down to straw and we'll see what price you're going to get for it so it's 114 per thousand litres at the animal dealer or 110 at South Valley Biomass Energy or you can take it to your animals for bedding so that would be cows, pigs and horses or you can get a baler like we've got here and turn it into straw bales so you can do exactly the same as what you can with a loose product it just means you can transport it differently so with this you LB and A you unfold it LB and B lower the pickup and LB and X turn it on and just drive over your straw again and it'll collect it off and it'll turn it into a bale for you now with the balers you have got a couple of options on whether it's round bales or square bales so that's entirely up to you with what you want to go with so I've got the square baler on this one right now as you can see there it's collecting it all up turn it into bales and once it's ready they'll put it out the back right and there you have it so the straw bales there ready to be dropped off once enough has been put into the baler and then you just go around collect them up and then take them to either a cell point or put them into your animals for bedding so that is it that is everything for barley so drop it in the comments below if you're going to be farming with barley what you're going to be doing with it are you going to be using it for feed are you going to be using a production chain are you going to be using the straw we'll see what comes out if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one